I'm Amanda, an employee owner with Cisco Eagle. This is Shop Talk. In this installment of Shop Talk, we're discussing Educational Development Corporation's integrated PIC module system. It's an understatement to say that Educational Development Corporation was growing in 2015. The solution was to build a larger, more automated facility with a new warehouse management system, light directed picking, intelligent conveyor transfers, and high density carton storage. The fulfillment line modifications worked. EDC's order backlog reduced to near zero and allowed it to ship faster and more accurately than ever. EDC was now able to ship product within 48 hours of receiving the order. The next year, orders surged another 20% and there was no backlog. Error rates dropped so sharply that the company was able to remove their 100% visual inspection from their quality control department. Everything worked great, but EDC wasn't finished growing. In 2020, the demand for children's books skyrocketed, partly due to the faster organic growth and partly due to the pandemic's restrictions on retail shopping. EDC needed to upgrade its system with features like an early out option that delivered completed orders to packing and shipping more efficiently. EDC wanted to streamline the way totes travel allowing them to skip unnecessary picking zones and continue uninterrupted directly to the necessary zones. These upgrades couldn't be achieved on the existing system without operational disruptions EDC couldn't afford, and facility space was an issue. Working with Cisco Eagle to design and implement the system, EDC used an adjacent warehouse space to build a two-level pick module. PIC modules are multi-level engineered platforms that use a variety of storage methods and conveyance to move picked orders through an order fulfillment operation while saving floor space by using the vertical space available. Since EDC had already integrated pick to light capabilities and the necessary software, it kept the basics of the picking line standard while upgrading in ways that increase speed and efficiency. This concept maximized space, increased throughput, and improved safety. The new conveyor lines feature multiple entry points, multi-zone skipping, and recirculation options for missed picks. When a picking zone is too full to accept more trays, orders bypass that zone and recirculate in the system until the zone becomes available. During recirculation, the order can be sent to other locations for picks. This makes the system flexible and versatile while it reduces dwell time on the conveyor line. Totes are scanned into the PIC line incorporating Lightning PIC software. EDC's employees were familiar with this technology and how to use it since Lightning PIC was used on the previous system. The induction point depends on required PICs and is determined by software so that the orders enter the system in the most logical area to reduce transport time. Once a tote is inducted, it travels down the main line toward picking areas. When EDC first implemented Lightning Pick software, it was used only for light-directed picking. A tote is scanned and a light module illuminates. This indicates which items and quantities are needed for that order. Later, LP Convey technology was implemented, allowing for zoning on the conveyor lines with the use of scanners. This technology also allows item scanning during packout to verify that correct items and quantities were placed in the tote. As totes travel down the conveyor, they are scanned at each picking area to determine whether they need to enter into the area for picks. An area consists of six to eight picking zones, and each pick line has three main areas. After all picks have been made in that zone, Pickers then place the tote back on the line to be scanned at the next zone. Once orders enter the packing area, they queue on zero pressure accumulation conveyor to wait for an available station. The system delivers orders to packers based on labor load to ensure that no packer is overloaded while others sit idle. Totes will not divert to packers with a full queue. They wait or continue to an open packing station down the line. If the packers get behind, the system has plenty of buffer space to allow for order picking to continue uninterrupted. Because EDC prioritizes safety, 
This system minimizes the flow of personnel and forklift traffic near the docks. It does this by locating the packing department on the upper level of the pick module and conveying finished packages overhead to spiral chutes that deliver finished orders to the trucks waiting for shipment. This means that forklifts can freely pass through the area with almost no pedestrian traffic. Once they reach the loading docks, boxes will transfer from the chutes onto powered flexible conveyors, which feed awaiting trailers. Since the flexible conveyors can be expanded and retracted, workers can easily adjust them as the trailers fill with packages. EDC accomplished its goals with the new conveyor system. It can easily ship more than 15,000 orders a day and has again reduced its error rates. The company created new capacity for peak order times that allows it to balance work between its old and new systems. Because both systems were built to work with future needs, they allow EDC to anticipate and execute future growth. If you have any questions, call us or visit us at cisco-eagle.com for more information. Thank you for watching Shop Talk.